in this video we'll see how to make use of financial data in a 12 marks question so let's have a look at the question in fact first there is a case study there that we read it for you and i will keep on telling you that what information can be used as application in the question as well so let's start fresh fruit juice bar fj simon set up fj in country z it makes fresh fruit drinks so fruit drinks can be your application as well okay it has to be relevant with your answer but it can be used as application because that is a business of fruit drinks simon had a well-paid job with a large food and drinks company but he wanted to create his own business he left his job six months ago to set up fj simon wants to provide people with a healthy alternative to the mass produced drinks that are available to uh, sorry in most shops now again they are talking about healthy drinks so that could also be your application while developing your point you can say that the main focus of his business is to produce healthy drinks simon is willing to work hard to make fj a success he has lots of ideas for new drinks he has been making the drinks at his house and selling them at a market stall he does not have enough space to produce a higher output on his own so again uh, an information that can be used as application is that the fruit drinks can be sold at a food stall so he would be starting a business at a very small scale um, the first drinks fj produced were made from just two types of fruits to keep costs down the business has been profitable simon now wants to expand the business rapidly and he needs to raise one hundred thousand dollar to open a factory he will need to recruit production workers he is considering using crowdfunding instead of a bank loan to raise the necessary finance simon wants to produce a new type of drink he has carried out market research using three methods to help him decide which fruit drink to produce and what price to charge he has estimated demand costs and prices for two possible new drinks as outlined in appendix three he must decide which one fj should produce Simon plans to open more fruit drink market stalls in busy areas of the city. He needs to recruit a manager to operate all of FJ's drink stalls. So again, the information is there that he actually wants to expand the business by opening more food stalls, right? This person will need to be reliable and able to make their own decisions. Now FJ uh, actually wants to hire a manager. Simon may have to pay to train the new manager. If these market stalls are successful, Simon can start opening market stalls in other cities as well. So the plan is to expand using more market stalls in other cities as well. Now, have a look at the appendix 3. So that is what I was uh, talking about, the financial data and how to make use of it in a 12 marks question. So uh, information on two possible new fruit drinks. Uh, forecast weekly demand okay the data is there and i have made calculation for you as well but i'll first uh, see the data and we'll discuss about it and then i'll uh, discuss the calculations as well which i actually have done it for you and i'm telling you when you make use of the data in your calculation you get more marks like you reach to level three and that is how you are able to get maximum marks now for drink a forecast weekly demand is 2000 for drink B, it is 5,000. It means drink B is able to sell more drinks. So maybe fewer risk is involved because there are plenty of drinks being sold. So even if a little bit sales uh, falls, still there won't be much effect on the profits of the business. Whereas as far as drink A is concerned, there can be an issue, right? Because only 2,000 drinks uh, are forecasted. So even if sales uh, go down by 1000 units, half of the sales would, would go down the drain, right? And that is not the case in drink B. Okay, then average variable cost of fruit is $4. Of course, drink A is an expensive one. So more higher variable cost is required in producing that drink. Whereas drink B has $1 uh, variable cost. Again, we can uh, talk about it that uh, um, to make drink A, FJ needs to have sufficient amount of cash to produce it. If the business does not have sufficient amount of cash, FJ won't be able to produce drink A in the quantity they desire. Whereas if we talk about drink B, only $1 cost is there for every new drink. So it would be easier and not much cash needs to be arranged by FJ to produce it. 
so um, then we have fixed cost per week both have $500 uh, a cost selling price is five dollar for drink a of course it is an expensive drink and for drink b it is two dollar number of types of fruit used six and for drink b it is for drink a it is six and for drink b it is two again we can uh, uh, use that data in in our answer as well that yes because six uh, fruits are being used so uh, it will be rich in taste maybe more delicious more healthy but the problem is that they have to arrange six fruits all the time sometimes the season is not there or they are not able to find maybe one or two fruits out of those six there could be a problem the taste might be compromised and the likely market segment is high income consumers so if the people are paying a certain amount of course the amount might not matter to them what matters it is the taste so if the taste is not the same because all six fruits are not there there could be a problem in terms of sales and profit right so but two uh, in comparison to drink a in drink b only two fruits are required so that is quite easier to arrange right and it, it's for low income consumers and that is why the price is on the lower side now whenever the financial data is given it is always recommended that you make use of it in your calculation and uh, i have used it in finding out um, accounting ratios like right? so you can find out break even as well in the same way right although the question doesn't require that like in the statement of the question it has not mentioned that you have to find out accounting ratios or break even but it is always recommended to get higher marks so that is why I have made use of it uh, in finding out uh, accounting ratios in, uh, I haven't calculated break even, but you can calculate break even level of output as well if you want to make use of it. You know that the space is limited, so you have to see that which uh, calculations can be part of your answer. Okay, now let's uh, see drink A. So I have calculated uh, GP for drink A, that is 2000, and how did I calculate that? Uh, look at, have a look at forecast weekly demand, that is 2000, right? And what is the selling price? That is $5. So I have multiplied 2000 with 5, that is the, uh, the selling price of each drink. So my total revenue would be 10,000. That is the working, huh? it's being shown. Now I have to find out total cost to get the profit. Total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost. So 500 is the fixed cost. And for variable cost, because it is given per cost, uh, per unit, that is a uh, cost of uh, each fruit that, that is there. So obviously we need to uh, multiply it with 4 so 2000 into 4 that would be 8000 that would be the variable cost of the uh, for of the each uh, a drink because six fruits would be used in producing drink a so the profit would be 1500 and that would be your profit for the year now I have made use of it uh, 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 and to calculate profit margin but before that let's see the gross profit uh, first so gross profit is when we subtract revenue sorry a variable cost from revenue only so revenue is 10,000 variable cost is 8,000 so as a result we got 2,000 as our GP I used it in my calculation of accounting ratio that is GP margin so 2,000 over 10,000 2,000 is the gross profit and 10,000 is the revenue we calculated earlier into 100 so we we get 20% gross profit margin similarly because we have calculated profit for the year that is $1,500 so we can use it in our in the calculation of a profit margin as well. So 1500 is the profit for the year and 10,000 is the total revenue into 100. So we will get 15% profit margin, right? Now, if we see drink B, so total revenue is 5,000 and the selling price is $2. So we again get total revenue that is 10,000. That is exactly equal to the total revenue of drink A as well. Then we have again we need to find out the total cost as well 500 is the fixed cost and variable cost is again one dollar for each drink so 5000 into one we'll get total variable cost and if we subtract cost from our revenue we'll get 4500 that is our profit for the year and uh, for gross profit again we will only subtract variable cost from the revenue because the variable cost is the direct cost and only direct cost is subtracted from the revenue to find out gross profit. Uh, 
So gross profit is 5,000, that is 10,000 minus 5,000. 5,000 is a variable cost, 10,000 is a revenue. So 5,000 will be the gross profit. And I use that in my uh, calculation of gross profit margin, 5,000 over 10,000 into 100, that is 50% gross profit margin. And profit margin similarly, um, calculated in the same way, 4,500 is the profit for the year we calculated earlier. And we used it in our uh, uh, calculation of uh, profit margin, that is 4,500 over 10,000 into 100, that is 45%. Now we can clearly see that if we see GP margin, and profit margin ring b is far better than ring a okay but remember always use your strong point in your evaluation remember okay because it will be easier to defend your point of view so i won't be using accounting ratios in the body of the answer i'll be using it in my evaluation because i feel that this is my strong point similarly you can calculate break even as well if you want to right now let's have a look at the answer i wrote now, the question is, consider two products outlined in Appendix 3. Which product should FJ produce? Justify your answer using relevant calculation. Now, it's a 12 marks question. So, you know that only two marks are there for knowledge, two for application, and rest of the marks are for analysis and evaluation. So, do remember, you have to develop your point well. Now, starting from drink A. So, uh, red color is used for knowledge blue for application and green is for analysis so i started with knowledge always start with knowledge or demonstration of knowledge right it would be rich in taste of course because six fruits have been used so this is knowledge now i am uh, now there is application there in blue color as number of fruits used in the drink is six this is the information which is mentioned in the case study part of application this is relevant information i'm using therefore it would be nourishing and hence improve brand image being a healthy drink i have used application on another occasion so just to show you that you can use application in multiple ways so now i'm using the word therefore and hence so it means i'm into my analysis i'm showing the impact of it on the business and what is that impact that it would be nourishing and it will help business improve the image right and being part of healthy drink as well because their main focus was to produce healthy drink now however now why i've used the word however because i'm now going uh, to the opposite side that is the the disadvantage of uh, uh, producing drink a however it won't help fj to expand again the knowledge part it is in red color as weekly demand is 2000 only this is application it's written but you need to use it in your answer right therefore won't have enough customers to have more drinks stalls okay because only 2000 uh, drinks uh, can be produced so how can you open up more food stalls in other areas as well as it is mentioned there in the case study as well so again i have used application on two occasions you can uh, only use it once it's entirely up to you how you use it so as a result business would remain small so have i shown the impact of it on on the business yes the impact is there that business would remain small and their desire to expand the business won't be fulfilled now there are lots of lines which are uh, still uh, not used so don't worry about that as far as you are able to meet the objective set by the examiner you will get maximum marks right and uh, the other reason is there because i have typed the answer that is why it has used less space now drink b it has lower cost of production again it's uh, the knowledge part and then as variable cost is just one dollar again i have made use of the information given in the case as application therefore fj would find it easy to manage cash i did discuss that earlier as well because a variable cost is quite low so hence fj's operation won't be affected to meet higher weekly demand of 5000 again i have used uh, application on two occasions it's not necessary to use it on two occasions only uh, you can use it on one occasion and still you can get maximum marks so again you can see i'm using the uh, the word therefore hence so i'm into my analysis and i'm showing the impact on business that business would find it easier to meet the 5000 forecasted demand however now i'm going the other side it might give an impression of poor quality okay that is the knowledge part now i have to explain that how would it happen and how it would have an impact on the business as well as fj is targeting low income consumers therefore the price is low okay fine yes the price is low because of the target market but it can backfire too if people income increases and they switch to expensive drinks to improve their health 
considering it a low quality drink right now they might be they might fancy uh, buying that drink because it is uh, um, low priced but if their income increases they might switch to other drinks and they might consider that it's a low quality drink that is why the price is on the lower side so this can happen in the future as well because demand is is forecast so you cannot say it with surety that it would actually happen right now i am done with both uh, drinks i have discussed the advantages and disadvantages of both the options now i will be into my recommendation i have used black color for my evaluation i think fj should produce drink b and okay so straight away when you start your evaluation you have to give your opinion okay by addressing the statement of the question the statement says that uh, tell the uh, the business which drink should be opted or which drink should be produced so i am straight into my answer by addressing the statement i think fj should produce drink b right now i will be giving the justification behind it the the solid points which i have saved it for my recommendation the reason is that gp margin and profit uh, of drink b is far greater than drink a okay that is profit margin right the reason is that i just omitted uh, by chance the reason is that gp margin and profit margin of drink b is far greater than drink a 50% and 45% for drink b and 20% and 15% for drink a so i have already calculated that i have made use uh, made uh, use of it in my evaluation right and i am making a comparison remember in your body never compare one drink with the other okay i'm just giving you a tip always make a comparison in your evaluation because that is required because when you are justifying your point you have to reject the other option as well i told you earlier if you only give reasons why you accepted the uh, drink uh, a or b and you are not actually giving reason for rejecting the other option there is a problem you cannot get maximum marks okay so for drink a respectively so we can clearly see that gp margin and profit margin of drink b is far greater than drink a right that means now you have to develop your point as well because by saying uh, uh, only that uh, the gp and profit margin is greater is not enough that means fj would be able to control their cost of sales and expenses too if it produces drink b compared to drink a see i am making a comparison every time so now i'm saying that because gp margin is greater so it means they are able to control their cost of sales as well why because uh gp margin is gp is always calculated by subtracting cost of sales from revenue and i have mentioned that they are able to control their expenses as well now i have made use of the word uh, controlling the expenses because the fixed cost is the same for both the drinks so i cannot say that their fixed cost is on the lower side okay right so i have used that they have controlled their expenses or they would be able to control their expenses if they go for drink b right because the revenue is the same for both the options but still the fixed cost is not increasing so it means that they are able to control their fixed cost okay then uh, despite having identical revenue and fixed cost i just mentioned that their fixed cost is same revenue is same but still they are able to generate higher gross gross profit margin and profit margin and that is the reason is because they are able to control their cost of sales and expenses it means that their cost of sales and expenses are not increasing in the same way as revenue is increasing okay therefore fj has greater profitability in producing drink b than drink a okay so i'm done with first point but i'll uh, mention another point moreover it would be difficult to make sure that the six fruits used in drink b are all the time available i mentioned that earlier na, at the start of the question as a result people might not consider it worth spending leading to lower sales of course it, it it is quite possible that all six fruits might not be available so what is the point of paying such a higher price if the the taste has been compromised right and particularly if you are if you belong to a high income group why would you like to buy a drink where the quality has been compromised so contrary to drink b which require only two fruits right so two fruits might be easily available compared to six fruits uh, which are required in drink a so that is why i have used that as a strong point as well and one more thing which you can use uh, and i mentioned that here as well to make it and fj already has an experience of producing drinks with two fruits they exactly know how to make that drink with the help of two fruits and they exactly know that two fruits are available all the time to make that drink okay or when the 
the production is not available but in case of six fruits they are going to do it the very first time so you can make that point as as your strong point as well in your uh, answer as well although i have just given a hint of it but you can use that as well although i have given sufficient explanation for my recommendation i have accept, i have given the reason for accepting my option and i have used the same point for rejecting the other option as well that is drink a as well okay so that is all for today to watch similar videos do subscribe my channel